Okay. Okay, I'd like to show you um, how to merge multiple uh, flight simulations in RockSim. Um, say we have a simulation here, and I want to show um, the range versus altitude for this particular flight. So here's we have the altitude and the range. And this rocket was launched at a 60 degree angle. And I want to compare it to other flights. Uh, in this particular case, we have a 50 degree angle. And so I'll plot that out and we'll see what that one looks like. And it looks fairly similar, but uh, how does it actually compare to the other flight? And so what I want to do is to use um, Microsoft Excel and create a plot like this. Um, so here's the 60 degree angle, the 50 degree angle, the 40 degree angle, 30 degree angle, and the 20 degree angle from vertical. Um, so that is the purpose of this video, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So to get the data into Excel, we have to export it from RockSim because we can't display multiple simulations on one graph in RockSim. So we have to export it, and we'll go to the File menu, and we'll scroll down to Export, and we'll export out the simulation data. And in this case, I'm going to export out the simulation data for the simulation number four, which was the 50 degree launch angle. Um, and here is all the data values that we can export and I only want to select altitude and range so I'll just click on them to select altitude and range and the export sample count you can export uh, about 2000 but in this case I'm only export about 500 data points um, the file field delimiter I'm going to choose tab format uh, I want to export at starting time zero ending point at the end of the data and then I need to give it a file name and a location and I'm gonna just put it on my desktop so I have desktop here and I just need to change my file name so I'll, I'll change this one to 50 degrees and then I'll click OK and uh, when you're done you'll get this uh, message that said it was export completed and that's good um, and then we need a, a, a data set to compare it against. So I'm going to select this top one here, 20 degree launch angle. And again, we're going to do the same thing. File export, export simulation data, and make sure our altitude and range are selected. And then change the file name. And again, it's going to go to the desktop. And we'll click OK, and we'll get another message saying that the export was completed. Okay, now uh, these are over on my desktop and I need to import them into Excel. So I'm going to open up Excel here and uh, we're going to do a file open and um, I'll find my desktop on my desktop. Okay, and if it doesn't want to open it, so now I, it doesn't want to open these, these are grayed out. Um, sometimes this happens on a Mac. I'm not sure if it happens on Windows or not. But what you need to do is open up Microsoft uh, Word. So now I'm in Microsoft Word. As you can see, I've opened uh, the uh, file up in uh, Microsoft Word. And then I'll just do a Save As. And I'm going to just save it back to the desktop. And this time it's going to be Format Text Only. Not Microsoft Word Format, but Text Only. And just click Save. <coughs> Okay, and now it's done, and now we've saved it to the desktop. So now I can go ahead and open Microsoft Excel. And so I'm back in Excel, and I can do a file, open. And this time on the desktop, it should see those files. So here's the 20 degree. Click open. And uh, then we'll do the same thing with the 50 degree angle. Okay, so now we just have to get both of these datas together on the same uh, worksheet. So I'll just do a copy, highlight them, and do a copy, which is uh, Control-C, or on the Apple, it's Apple-C. And then go to the other one, and here's where we're going to paste. So I can just go File, uh, where's Paste, Paste. Okay, so this is the 20 degree, and this is the 50 degree. 
and uh, I have the other one open so I'm going to go ahead and close that so we don't get confused and I'll just say no. Okay, um, so I'm going to change the names of these. This was the 20 degree flight angle. And this one was the 50 degrees. Okay, so now, now we want to add the actual chart. And I'm going to click on the Chart Wizard button in Excel. And this is where it gets confusing. And I want you to choose the XY scatter chart. And then over here on this side, we're going to choose scatter with data points connected by smooth lines without the markers. The markers are the little dots, so we don't need the dots, we just want the smooth line. So I'll select that one and click next. And so now this is where it really gets confusing because now we have to give the correct data ranges for both of the um, lines that we want on the chart. Um, the series is in the columns and so now these are the series and um, to make this easy I'm going to remove all of these okay so now there's no series so now we have to add the first one and the first one is going to be the 20 degree launch angle and we'll say this one is 20 degrees and the X value which is the range so this is the range so now we have to select on the chart itself I'll just scroll down until I get to the bottom and this is very critical you get the right column and when we get close to 500 down there on the bottom uh, left we'll, uh, we'll slow down Okay, so there is the last data point in the range. Oops, somehow it put it in the wrong. It put it in the wrong. Uh, I didn't click on this one. Sorry, we'll do that again. Okay, so. Now we got that, and then I'm going to hit enter, and it accepts the data. And now we have to choose the Y value, and the Y value is in column A. So I want to clear that out. And I'm scrolling down again like I did before. It went too far, so I need to go back up. Okay, there's the bottom of our data. And then I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard and it, it accepts the, the data and now you can see we're going to get the nice plot like that and we're going to do the same with the next one so we're going to add another series and this is going to be the 50 degree launch angle and the X the X values are going to be in column C Let me. Let me scroll up a little bit here to find the end of the data. So the X values are, uh, or actually it's going to be in column D. So I'll scroll up to the top. Okay. And then the Y values is the altitude, and that's this column here. And we'll scroll down. And it went too far again. Okay. All right. And now we can see we're going to have our two charts. And now it's just a matter of making the chart look pretty. Um, the title of this is going to be Altitude versus Range. And the X value axis is in feet. The Y value is in feet. Um, 
We can put the major grid lines there. The data labels, uh, none. Uh, legend, I'm going to put it at the top. So the 20 degree and the 50 degree are going to be up there. And then when I like it, I'll click uh, next. And it's going to ask me where I want to put the chart. And I'll just say, just leave it in the sheet. And now we'll have our chart. Now we can make it bigger. And there we go. So this is the 50 degree launch angle. And we can see where it lands. And the 20 degree. So now we can make a direct comparison of the flight trajectories from one simulation to another. And you can do this with any of the values that are in Roxim. And you can also do this, uh, you can export out altitude versus time, and you can compare that to the altitude versus time from the perfect flight altimeter, because you can also export out that to Excel. Just as long as your units are the same in the columns. Remember those columns up here. Uh, they were both in feet. So if you're doing an altitude, versus time, so that one would be feet in time, and then you'd export out from Roxim feet versus time. And that's how you do it.